Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited about this video because I'm doing a declutter. Oh my gosh, I never do declutters on my channel, but I looked at my makeup collection and I thought, I really, really have to pare this down. There is so much stuff in my makeup collection that I'm not using. And so today we're gonna start off, we're gonna do five aspects of my makeup collection. We're gonna do lipsticks, lip colors, we're gonna do highlighters, we're gonna do blush, we're gonna do bronzer, and then we're gonna do some eyeshadow, which for me is very hard to get rid of. I love eyeshadow palettes. So welcome if you're new here, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty, I'm on this channel. We talk a lot about makeup, and I just said I have a hard time decluttering eyeshadow palettes, which is very much true because that's my favorite thing to talk about on this channel, and I just have lots of eyeshadow palettes in my collection, and when we get to that one, you'll see which ones I'm gonna declutter. But today we're doing a lipstick declutter. I just love makeup so much, uh, and my first love of makeup was lip color. That's what I really got into first. I wore a lipstick in a Facebook photo that I posted, and everybody's like, what a pretty lip color, what a pretty lip color, and I was just starting to get back, and that's when I started getting into makeup. People were commenting on my makeup and how I, you know, pretty I looked, and I thought, it's not what, that I wear makeup to look pretty, but this really kind of spurred my interest is just wearing this lip color, and I don't know what happened, and it just kind of spiraled from there, and it just was like, it was like, I was out of control after that. So we're gonna be doing a lip, lip, color, de color, lip color declutter, say that fast, oh my gosh, today, and you guys are gonna be astounded at how much I'm getting rid of. It's insane. It's absolutely insane and some of these things are gonna really, really surprise you because I've talked about them a lot on my channel in the past, but the time has come for me to let them go. So we're gonna start. I have down here, I have this big Target bag. I'm just gonna put all of my lip products that I'm decluttering in here. And I'm not giving away any of the lip products. I'm literally throwing them away because A, some of them are really, really old, and B, they've touched my mouth. And I don't wanna give anybody those lip products. I'm perfectly okay with, and I made peace with the fact that I'm decluttering these. So hopefully you guys aren't mad at me when I tell you I'm just throwing these away, but literally, I, I just I had to let these things go and it's okay, I'm fine with it, I've made peace, I'm ready. So let me just get a few of the items and I will start doing my declutter. Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be huge. I have four containers, four containers of lip products that I'm gonna be getting rid of. You guys will not believe this, hold the phone. Okay, the first item in my makeup collection that I'm going to declutter, and I have them in this old makeup uh, wipes uh, box. I saved all my boxes just to kind of separate things. I'm going to declutter all of, and not even kidding you, all of these Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit lipsticks. These, I like them for a time, but I think I convinced myself that I needed to like them because of all people, and I don't watch this person anymore, I don't think she's done video in a long time and there's some big controversy in a lawsuit and she's kind of been canceled, it's Tati, and Tati love these. And I love some of the colors in here, but I don't find myself reaching for these at all. Um, and I literally bought every shade. Not even kidding you, I bought every shade of these, but I never reach for them. I I'm sure there are a few in here that I could actually give away because I haven't used them, but I can't remember which ones those are. And although I spent probably about $50 <laughs> on all of this, lip, uh, all these lip colors, I just, I, I'm not using them. And they're not the worst thing in the world, but they really do dry your lips. They're, they're that, that very liquidy lipstick, li liquid lipstick that go on really, really liquidy and they dry down very, very matte. And you're not supposed to have, you know, they're very kiss proof, which is great. But let me, I, I, I can't with these, you guys, they're so dry and so I am just going to take my target bag and I'm going to throw all of those in there so that's our start so gosh that felt weird but I needed to do it okay so the next thing I want to mention are these three elf lip products these are dual ended lipsticks um, I really wanted to love these. I saw these on the e.l.f. website. I don't even know if they sell these anymore, but one side is one color. It's usually there's a darker color on one side, 
and a lighter color on the other. These were so creamy and they just were just a mess and I just didn't like them. And I wanted to like them. Trust me when I tell you this. I wanted to like them so badly and it just didn't work out for me. And I've cut three of them. I've got like a berry like mauve one. I've got a nude one and I got a red one. So those are going to go in the declutter bag. Okay, so let's talk about these little bad boys that I have from, and I have, I bought a lip, lip set, but I bought these a while back, so I feel okay, and then it's time to declutter them, and I didn't really hate this formula either. It was more, one of more of those moussey liquid lipstick formulas, you know, that feel kind of, um, you know, like moussey on the lips, and they dry down, but they were very drying too, and they are the bomb Meet a Matt Hughes liquid lipstick. I think that's what these are called. Meet Matt Hughes. I love these things for a long time. I have quite a selection of them, as you can see. I'm not going to go through all the colors, but I think there was one that I got that was, I think it was this one, and it was the shade, I want to say it's this one, it's the shade Committed, and I really, really liked it. And I went to a Generation Beauty event. Um, it's been a while, so that's why these are really old. Um, where I got the little box set and it was a bunch of minis and I just really really love them for a really really long time um, and I just I, I have to part with ways with them they're just really old and another formula that was really long wearing but that I didn't really get along with so they're going in the bag <laughs> oh gosh this is hard okay so let's talk about another um, thing from wet and wild oops that's not the one I wanted I have five of these. Let me see if I can find them all. There. Okay. They're um, these like nude, it, they were a nude lip crayon. I forgot exactly what these were called. Hold on just a second. Where's my magnifying glass? Oh, hold please. They were the Wet n Wild um, Velvet Matte Lip Colors and they were like a crayon format. And these also just were super, super dry. I have five shades. Um, they're all really, really pretty shades, nude shades. There's one in here that's literally like a oh, foundation nude. Um, I have a couple of rosier, um, cooler nudes and a couple of brownie warm nudes. I just didn't ever like these. I, I wanted to like them because I, you know, I think I got them for a $5 Friday and if I did, I'll try to link it, but it was forever ago and I never used these because I just thought they were so dry. Um, and these are the kind of lip colors that you would use kind of as a liner maybe. They were kind of chunky, like, let me show you. They were kind of a chunky crayon. They did, they did uh, roll up, which I did appreciate, but um, they just, they just were no one out. And so I'm throwing them in the bag. Throwing them in the bag, oh my gosh. Can you believe this, you guys? Crazy. Now, the next thing you're gonna just die when I when I when I show you, because this is these are some of my favorite lipsticks ever. But these specific colors, I just can't with. These are five ColourPop lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. I um, bought these two colors a long time ago, and they were my first lippy sticks that I bought. This one's in the shade Toucan. It's like a pink, like a it's like a it's like a pinky watermelon shade. It's called Toucan, and then this one is called Grind, and it's that funky, um, kind of just purple. Like, why would I buy this lip color? I wore it a couple times, and it was just not a good lip color on me, and so I definitely just was like, nah, uh, I'm gonna pass that on. And so I just didn't like those two colors. And these next ones are kind of peachy nudes, and I don't do very well with peachy nudes. One of them is like an orangey nude, like an orangey peachy nude, and it's just ugly. It's called Upside Down. And then I have Hype Girl, which I hyped up a lot and got my friend Jennifer to buy, and I have no idea if she still has it. But um, it's just like a peachy nude, and it's, it's okay. And then this one is called Button and it's a cream. And I, this is the kind of shade that you would think that I would like because it's not, it's one of those peachy nudes that's not totally matte because sometimes when you wear those peachy nudes, you ultimately will end up um, putting like a lip gloss over them. So this is more of a cream formula and you wouldn't have to do that, but I just never wear it. I just never wear it. And so you're just thinking to yourself, lippy sticks, you're giving, you're throwing away lippy sticks. I am, I just don't use them. So they're going in the back. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about let me get them all out. Uh, where is the other one? 
Okay, I can't find it right off the top. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I found it. Are these L'Oreal Infallible like lip paint things? Um, I I don't know why I bought these. They came in a little set, and I got them at like the, my local Walgreens, and um, I like the colors. Um, but I don't wear these because they're kind of like a glossy kind of a liquid lipstick vibe and I, I I don't like glossy lip products in general I um, have a lot of lip glosses in this declutter because I don't wear a lot of lip glosses I just picked my favorite formulas and I kept those um, for lip glosses but these aren't a glossy these aren't like a lip gloss but they're kind of a hybrid between a lip gloss and um, and a lip color and I'm just I, I don't really care for I don't really care for them and um, they're different and more shiny than a formula that I'm about to mention and it's gonna you guys are gonna be like oh my gosh are you wait till you hear what I'm mentioning next they're gonna freak out um, but these I just didn't ever like them and so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those <laughs> in the bag okay the next thing I'm going to mention and I'm shocked that I'm gonna get rid of these too um, but I really think that they're going bad and I, I could be I could be con I could be wrong but uh, I don't reach for these very often I do reach for one color specifically but when I look at the tube they're kind of separating and I just thought to myself it's like no it, the time has come and I really need to get rid of my ColourPop ultra satin lips I know crazy huh um, there's a shade in here that I love that I've thought about keeping and it's the shade strip It's very similar to the lip color I have on now, but I look at it and it's separating as well All of these are just separating and I just really think that it's time for me to just say sayonara to these um, I love these I, the, I don't think ColourPop makes this formula anymore so I'm kind of sad to let these go, but um, there are a couple shades in here that I really really love like I love point zero point zero doesn't look too bad Maybe I'll keep point zero. I think that's point zero. I might keep point zero just because it doesn't look like it's going bad um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep point zero, but I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these So there's point zero and these are the rest of them. I have like the shade tansy. I have the shade hutch I have the shade um, I have the shade Strip, like I said, Calypso, Alyssa, I have a bunch of shades in these and I just don't ever use them because I, I find that they're, they just look like they're going bad and I don't reach for them as much as I reach for some of the other lip formulas that I have, so I'm throwing those out. What is going on with me today? Oh my gosh. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is a liquid lipstick. I got this in a box before I stopped getting uh, BoxyCharm. And I didn't like the formula of this. I love the color, but didn't like the formula of this. And this one's a big whopper of a shade and brand. Um, this is the KVD. It was it, it was Kat Von D at the time, and now it's KVD Vegan Beauty. But I got Bow and Arrow, the lipstick Bow and Arrow. And um, I hate the formula of this. It's so dry. I, I don't like these. I only have one shade, but I don't like it. So it's going in the declutter bag. It's getting heavy, it's getting heavy. Okay, so let me grab out some e.l.f. products. e.l.f. and um, some liquid lipstick type things going on. Okay, so um, this was a liquid lipstick that I bought for a dollar store video that I did with Better Off Red. If I can find that, I will link it, but that was a funny video, and this was from AOA Studio. It was terrible. I hated it, so I'm getting rid of that. I got two e.l.f. liquid lipsticks. These were also really, really dry. Never used them. Just I got a nudie shade, and I got a red shade, and they're just not my favorite. Well, one just automatically fell in the bag. Yay for that. Um, then I've got this Ofra liquid lipstick. Now I love Ofra liquid lipsticks, but this one, uh, although I love the shade, I never wear it. And it is in the shade Manila, and it's absolutely a beautiful shade, but I never wear it, so I'm getting rid of that. And then this looks to be like a lip plumping gloss from Elf. I think I have a couple more lip plumping glosses. Let me pull them out, yeah. I have a bunch of lip plumping glosses from Elf. I just didn't like these. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of lip gloss, so I just, and they're plump, those plumping lip glosses, which are kind of minty, which ironically, I'm wearing kind of a minty lip gloss formula right now, but it's tolerable, and I like the formula a lot better than these. These ones just are a little bit too, um, um, how do I put this? Too glossy. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, they're too, like, wet, like, where they're not, they're not sticky so much as they are just not sticky enough where they're going to kind of, you know, get messy and stuff like that. I just didn't like them. I just didn't like them. So I'm giving them the toss and I'm, they're going in the bag. Woo, this is getting crazy people. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk about, and we're talking about lip gloss brands. This happens to be dupe. These happen to be duplicates. Um, so I'm just throwing the older ones out and keeping the ones that I have that are newer. So this is like, this is just happens to be um, some older, some older shades that I, I have duplicates of these, but I love the formula of these. So since I have duplicates, I'm just going to get rid of this set of Buxom glosses. These are their, those plumping glosses that Buxom has. I really like the formula of these. So I'm keeping the other set that I have. It's the exact same set. I'm wearing this shade today. Um, I don't know exactly what shade it is, but I'm wearing it over the lip color that I have on right now. Um, I like these lip glosses. I, I, I'm not a big fan of like plumping or minty or, you know, kind of tingly glosses, but these ones I can tolerate. So I'm just getting rid of this little trio. Okay, so let's get one of the big ones out of the way. Let me um, get like, the funky little um, shades out. Let me, I, I've got a, I've got a big set of things to give away. So let me just get out all the ones that don't belong with this group. And then, then we will go ahead and give these to toss. Okay. I need, I need a minute to organize. Okay. So hold on. Okay. You guys, the second half of the video did not record because I had no memory on my card. So now I'm filming the second portion of the video it's a continuation of the lip declutter and I was about to start talking about the thing that I'm going to be decluttering next. If the lighting looks a little bit different, it's because it's darker outside. I'm filming this portion at night uh, and I filmed the other part in the morning. So if things seem a little bit different to you, that's probably what it is. So the next thing we're going to talk about as I try not to spill them all over the floor is a makeup product that I love dearly with all my whole heart. This was my introduction into the downward spiral of my makeup addiction that you guys know of now. And these pain me, it pains me greatly to have to declutter these um, because they really hold a very, very special place in my heart. The lipsticks I'm gonna be talking about now are the Mega Last Lipsticks from Wet n Wild. Um, the $2 lipsticks, that, kind of, that came with the janky uh, plastic cap packaging with the squared off bullet. Um, these were my favorite lipsticks for the longest time. And they just have a lot of sentimental value to me because of what they led me, how they led me on in my makeup journey. So I collected all of them. I got every shade. I would go out of my way to get the limited edition shades. I would go to every Walgreens and every CVS that I could find to get every color, especially the limited edition colors. And these were a staple in my collection for, for a very, very long time. But as time has gone on and I've tried different lipstick formulas, I've used these less and less. And they are also the oldest lipsticks in my collection. So it, it just, they're not good anymore. So I would have to throw them away as is, but it still makes me very, very sad because I, as you guys can tell, this is a very full box and it's just something that uh, kind of hurts my heart. But it's time to say goodbye to you Mega Last Lipsticks. They've redone the packaging on these now and I have not bought new ones. I just, I'm not going to buy lipstick just to buy lipstick and just to replace these. So somewhere down the line, I might get the new ones. But for now, I'm saying goodbye to the old ones. So say goodbye to the Mega Last Lipsticks, everyone. I have over 30 in this box. That's, that's just, I will always remember you. <laughs> so let me just dump those in the box. It's going to be very loud. So prepare for that. This box is getting very, very, very heavy. 
or bag, I should say. Bag is getting very, very heavy. Okay, so we're moving on now to some lipsticks that I inherited from a friend and I've never used them. Um, probably because I got them from a friend and she just gave them to me because she didn't want them anymore. And there are some bullet lipsticks from the brand Arbonne. Now Arbonne is a multi-level marketing company um, and they're a good company. I don't sell Arbonne, that's not why I'm mentioning them, but uh, I have friends that do and they're a skincare and a body care, um, cosmetic and health brand and they're all natural and stuff like that. So they're very, very good products, but I do not use these. I've never used these and I'm not going to use them. Even though the colors are really, really pretty, I've, they've never once touched my lips, um, but they were given to me from somebody else. So I have to throw them away for that reason. So goodbye to the Arbonne lipsticks. I'm gonna put them in there. The next thing I wanna talk about are these sweet cream liquid lipsticks from the brand Jordana. Now, Jordana's really, really hard to find, but my Walgreens sold these, and so I picked them up with the intention of doing a $5 Friday on them, but when I used them, I hated them so much I never did that video. They look like this. They are very similar to, in terms of their texture, to like a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream or a um, the Balm ones that I was talking about before. They go on kind of moussey, and then they dry down. Um, I never really liked the formula of these. They were just super uncomfortable. They would. They would just make my lips feel really, really dry. Um, they were kind of a velvety finish, so they weren't like a dry, dry finish, but they still felt like powder on my lips, and I never really liked that. They just kind of felt powdery and just gross. So I have three of those. I have this kind of, you know, you know, uh, reddish, this really seductive red shade, this very concealery, pinky concealery shade, and then this pink, this like pinky nude. Those are gonna go in the declutter bag. So we're gonna put them there. And let's talk about um, some more lipsticks. Uh, I have some lip glosses in this um, container as well. But the first thing I wanna talk about are these Maybelline lipsticks. Now, I'm not getting rid of a bunch of Maybelline lipsticks. Please do not think that because I love the Maybelline um, Color Sensational line. I have lots of different colors from lots of different lines in that Color Sensational family. The Intimate Nudes, the just the, the original color sensational line, loaded bolds, and I have some of the metallic finish, um, liquid, I mean, metallic finish, uh, color sensational. Two of the ones from the metallic finish that I'm gonna get rid of are this green one right here and this kind of brassy uh, yellowy gold, like, you know, almost orangish gold. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought, oh, it'd be fun to have these metallic lipsticks in these really, really cool colors, but who wears a metallic lip? They usually look really, really bad, and I don't know what I was thinking when I, I bought these. So I'm gonna declutter those, and by the same token, I'm gonna de declutter this one from the Loaded Bolts line. Um, the Loaded Bolts was just this really, really like rich, uh, very pigmented colors. Um, they had some really, really interesting colors of uh, just very bold and kind of, you know, not necessarily your average, you know, nude, easy to wear lip colors, but this one was definitely not easy to wear and the, it went bad probably quicker than most of my other lipsticks. And this one is the blue one. I got a blue lipstick. Let me just show you real quick. Um, you can see it's kind of this blurple shade. I wore this twice and even looking at the bullet, it just looks super, super dry. I'm not gonna wear odd color lipsticks anymore. I don't know what ever possessed me to think that I could in the first place, but I wanted to try them and I was really, really into just being different. And so I'm going to say goodbye to the three of those. So um, let's talk about these lip glosses from Rimmel. I got these for a $5 Friday a long, long time ago and I love them, for, I love them really well. Uh, especially this one right here. These are the Stay Glossy Lip um, Glosses from Rimmel. I really, really enjoyed these, um, but I'm not a gloss wearer, and I've had these for a really, really long time, so it's gonna be time for me to part ways with these, but they are a really good liquid, uh, liquid lip gloss. They're a good lip gloss, but they're just not my favorite formula, and they're also some of the oldest lip glosses in my collection, so I'm gonna just, just say goodbye, and, and um, put them in my little declutter bag, along with everything else. And then we're gonna talk about another lip gloss real quick. 
These are, are lip, the Lip Tonics Lip Topper or Lip Glosses from J-Cat Beauty. I wanted to try some J-Cat Beauty and I went on their website trying to find products to review for $5 Friday. And I do not know if I made a video on these or not, but it ended up being that I just got them and never used them. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. I think I used maybe each one of these one time. One's, a, you know, kind of like a peachy kind of bronzy. And then this one's kind of a pearly pink lip gloss. Um, don't have much to say about them because I really didn't use them that much, but I don't use them now. So there's no point in me keeping them. So I'm going to say goodbye and they're going to go into the declutter bag. Okay. So let's talk about these two lipsticks from Milani. Now you guys know that I love the Milani matte lipsticks. I also love their cream lipstick formula. I'm perf I prefer their matte formula more than their cream lipstick formula just because I like matte lipstick. I'm a big fan of matte lipstick. Uh, I've never really been into like creamy finished lipsticks, but I do have a few in my collection that I really do enjoy. But these two colors are colors that I'm gonna let go of. One of them is one of their Color Sensational Matte lipsticks and it's in that purple color. Very similar to Grind from ColourPop, the lippy sticks that I decluttered earlier in this video. It's just purple. It's a very unwearable in my person, in my, and for me personally, shade. I, I did get some good use out of this. Um, it was one of the first, I think this was the first Milani lipstick that I ever bought was this particular color. And I like the formula enough to go on and purchase more, more lipsticks from Milani. So that says a lot about this lipstick. So I was loved for a while and I did get some brothers and sisters in its um, format in different colors. So I really, really did love this, but I don't like the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. The other one, is a is one of their cream creamier lipsticks and this one's called bronze beauty but it's a very bronzy almost looks a little slightly slightly bit a slight slightly metalized but it's kind of that orangey brassy brown and I, I don't know it just isn't my favorite favorite color and i never wear it so i just decided this one's got to go uh in the declutter as well so I'm gonna say goodbye to those two Milani lipsticks, but make no mistake, there are a lot of Milani lipsticks still in my collection, which until they go bad, I will not get rid of, but these two shades are not shades that I wanna keep around. So we're almost in the home stretch. We got two more things to talk about, and then we are done with this lip declutter, okay? Um, the next thing are these TARDIS lip paints. These are minis, and I think I might've gotten them in boxes or in a set, like the, some of them might've come in Ipsy when I, when I, uh, I think two, these two right here came as a set, this kind of milky, creamy pink, and then this kind of mauve shade. I think those came in a set, and I think I got this nudie, kind of nudie, peachy, pinky. It's a very cool, it's an awesome nude color. And the formula of these is not bad, but I just don't find that I reach for them a whole heck of a lot. I might, no, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna keep it, I don't need to keep it. I do have one of these TARDIS lip paints that I have that I got in a boxy charm, and it is in the shade Pumpkin Pie, and I am keeping that. It's pumpkin, or I can't remember the name of it, but it's, it's not in this declutter. Uh, it's, um, I think it's called Home Slice. I think it's called Home Slice. I wanna say it's called Home Slice because I remember getting something, and it was a pumpkin, pumpkin kind of like color, kind of a burnt orange color, and I think it's called Home Slice, and I'm keeping that one. But these three, I'm gonna let go. Not bad, not a bad formula. It's also that kind of moussey formula, but it's much more comfortable on the lips than say uh, some of the other moussey formulas that I talked about before, like the um, Meet Matt Hughes liquid lipsticks or the Jordana liquid lipsticks. These ones are much more comfortable, obviously, because I'm keeping Home Slice because it's in the same line. And uh, so I'm keeping that one, but the other three I don't need. So the last two items I wanna talk about, I do have, before I mention those last two, I have a lot of odds and ends that I got from boxes that are brands that most people don't know of. I didn't include them in this declutter, I just put them in the bag and they were just one-off brands that um, I have a Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in there. Um, I have some other brands, I have a Sephora brand lipstick that I put in there. Just other brands that I don't necessarily need to keep uh, and that I didn't use and they're just kind of collecting dust in my collection. So I just put those in the bag, but I'm not gonna go over them um, because I don't feel like you guys would wanna know a lot about brands that I'm just decluttering that 
how shall I say this, where I only have one from that brand. But I only have one from each of these brands in this video, and this was kind of a hard one for me because I thought to myself, um, now that I have my lipstick sitting over here on my left, um, I have them all displayed and I have them all together. And I have five Bite Beauty and Moose Bouche lipsticks and I have five Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Um, and I kind of only had space for four of each. And I thought, well, what are the two shades from the Urban Decay and the Bite? What two shades from each of those? Uh, um, which shade from each of those would I be comfortable letting go of? And I selected this one that's called, I think it's called Violate, and it's from Urban Decay. And it's that kind of snow pink, that snowy like winter pink that a lot of people say it's kind of that cool wintry pink that you kind of wear with grays and cool tone eyeshadows. I don't know why, I just never really, it's kind of, a, it's kind of like almost like a lilac, lilac-y pink color. It's pretty, but it's not something that I wear a lot. So I just decided that I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. And the Amuse Bouche lipstick that I'm gonna let go came in that little Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick set from a couple of years ago, but these Bite Beauty lipsticks are still good. They still perform great, um, just as good as the day I, that I got them. So I'm keeping four of them, um, but I'm getting rid of one. And the shade that I'm getting rid of is Nori. It's just a deep shade. I have lots of deep lipsticks that are similar to this. So I just decided that I was gonna go ahead and get this. And these are in a creamier formula too, so I don't really want a deep shade in a creamier formula because I, to me it's it's not as uh, safe as some of their other more nude colors that I have. So there you go. So those go on in the declutter bag too. So this is the declutter bag. Look how, look at that. Look how much is in there. It's it's really heavy. It's really, really heavy. So I'm pretty excited with this declutter. I'm very thrilled with the amount of progress that I've made in this aspect of my collection. It does make me want to go ahead and declutter other portions of my collection. So I'm excited to go through that. I think the next one I'm gonna do is highlighters. So um, I already have in mind which ones I'm gonna be getting rid of. So I want you guys to stay tuned, come back for the highlighter declutter. I will probably do that either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So if you guys like declutters and you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. That would help me out tremendously. And also if you would like to su subscribe, now's the time to do that. You can just hit the subscribe button. It's 100% free um, and it would mean the world to me. If you think I'm fun and you wanna see me again, then subscribe. And that is gonna conclude this video, you guys. I love you, hope you all are having a fantastic day, night, wherever you may be, and I love you, and I'm praying for all of you, and I hope that you're safe and happy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Take care, bye.